Hello again, tubers. It is the 5th of April, 2014. Welcome back to the PC Lover 81 channel. Uh, now, as you know, this Dell Optiplex 380 machine, which we have here, got the side cover off of it. Um, this particular upgrade series is going to be about doing this sort of thing on a budget. Um, this is not a gaming channel for people that want to build gaming computers, though we will do that and tackle that stuff from time to time, but, uh, you know, we, we want to try and accommodate everybody here, and, you know, not everybody needs to have the most powerful processor in the world, or, you know, have a, a machine that can have 100 frames per second playing the latest video game, and so on and so forth, blah, 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 blah. So, um... What we're going to do here, we are going to do a CPU upgrade in this machine today. And I also have that leftover Dell-specific uh, ATI Radeon, I believe it was a 6670. I'm going to put that in there just to get started with. Um, we'll see how things are after I get it up and running and uh, get a solid-state drive or a hybrid drive in here and get an operating system on it and everything. Uh, it does have a Windows 7 Pro COA, so uh, I forgot to mention that in the last video. So uh, I'll just get my Dell disk out and put Windows 7 Pro 64-bit on it. And then uh, we'll go from there. But those uh, that's stuff to talk about and check out in future videos. So, but for tonight's video, we're just going to do a processor and just a cheap video card. And uh, you come back to the next scene, we'll be putting the processor in. Okay guys, the Intel Core 2 Duo E8400 is installed. Uh, we're getting ready to put the heatsink on, but I just wanted to show, uh, just to illustrate real quick, uh, that little blob is actually some Arctic Silver 5 thermal compound. Uh, that's a 65 watt CPU. Um, honestly, if you want to, if it's your preference to take a spreader, if you have a little spreader and spread it around, that is fine, you can do that. But that compound is so good, and when we mount the heat sink on top of the chip, it's going to do a very good job of spreading that around. So we're not really going to need to spread it. Um, you know, either way, if you want to do it, it's fine. I've been doing this for so many years, and it works fine both ways. Just, uh, just making sure you have a good enough amount on there is all you really need to worry about. So we'll get the compound back on, and then the next scene we'll be putting the video card in. Okay guys, here we go. Um, the 6670 is now installed. We got the heat sink back on chip. So the upgrades are done, and when we come back to the next scene, we'll actually show the first power on test after they're the installation of the new components. Um, as you can see, we come in nice and tight here. There's plenty of room. It's a single lane video card. At uh, even the, you know, this awkward BTX form factor, this card pops right in there. It was actually made specific to go in a Dell computer with this style of board. So, uh, you know, there won't be any problems with this. And uh, you know, again, uh, the total cost for tonight's upgrades was free. I had these parts laying around, um, donated from other systems, and, uh, you know, you don't always have to spend a million dollars to upgrade something. And we're actually, you know what, we might even keep running the stock power supply. We'll see how it holds up. I have a bunch more of those Dell power supplies from other systems, uh, other Optiplex models, and even at Dimension... 521 machine that I worked on a while back that uh, I could put in there. Or, uh, maybe if if I wind up needs, needing something more powerful down the road, we'll put something more powerful in there. But, uh, you know, just so you guys can see firsthand, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Uh, this, is, this build is all about the budget. I got the two more slots down below which we'll talk about in future videos, what I'm going to do with them. So uh, come on back to the next scene, and we'll do the first power on self-test with this. Okay. 
Okay guys, now we're in the BIOS on this uh, Dell Optiplex 380. Um, as you can see, the processor upgrade was a success, showing exactly what we have. I'm going to back up a little bit. As you can see down here in the slot information, slot 1, we have a VGA compatible multimedia, which means, obviously, that the video card works in this particular system. Which, of course, because we have a picture on the screen, we also know that it works too. But, uh, you know, just to show you guys, um, you know, I'm uh, pretty happy with this little machine so far. Like I said, I supported about 70 of these uh, type of machines when I worked at a lawyer's office back about three or four years ago. Uh, these little Dell Optiplex machines, whether it's the entry level 380, you know, or the 980, or the, you know, anything in between the 780s, um, I know they've come up with some new models since then. Uh, these machines are workhorses. They're built really well, and um, you can't go wrong with them. And you know, moral of the story, I think I've said this already, but I'm uh, going to reiterate it again. Um, not everybody out there needs a high-end gaming machine. Um, you know, I, I, I must emphasize this channel is not dedicated to gaming machines. I put a video card in a lot of the systems I do simply because I don't want to share the RAM. I want because I want that system to run at its best possible performance. And I don't want to be sharing RAM with video. So, you know, you probably won't see me doing a whole lot of those a whole lot of videos on those newer systems with, from AMD with those uh, APU chips. Just because I I don't I don't like integrating the video into the chip. I don't like sharing the RAM. I like having an actual adapter tape card. You know, there's nothing wrong with it, and like you see, it works really well in this system. So, the next video we do will be further upgrades. I haven't decided what they're going to be yet. Might even donate some parts from another system, but uh, we got to see what's what. We'll take a look at the budget and see how things are going. So, I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more exciting videos to come.